What's up YouTube? Welcome to Code Affection. This is my fifth video in the series of Angular Material Tutorials. In previous videos, we have discussed a lot of things like a creation of form using reactive forms module in Angular Material. Then we submitted that form into Firebase DB. And then we have created a complete Angular Material data table with sorting, paging and filter operation. In last video tutorial, we have discussed how to use Angular Material pop-up dialog. All of these links are given in video description. As a result of the previous video tutorials, we have a complete CRUD operation with Angular Material Data Table and Popup. So in this tutorial, we are going to replace default confirm dialog with a customized Angular Material Confirm dialog. It looks like this. We have created this Angular Material Popup dialog as a result of customizing Popup dialog in Angular Material. Before starting this video, I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please thumbs up this video. If you are new here, please be subscribed to this channel and click on the bell icon to get notification about my new videos. Most of the video lesson here also has a written blog post. You can find the link in video description. You can grab code from the as well. So here we have the same project from previous tutorial. Currently we are running this project inside my web browser here. So we just need to replace this default confirm dialog with new confirm dialog. For that purpose, I'm going to create a new component inside this project. So we can use this ng command, ng g for generate, c for component. Component name will be mat confirm dialog. Hit enter. Newly created component can be seen here, mat confirm dialog. Now in order to work with this mat confirm dialog, I'm going to create one more service class. So ng g for generate as for service, we have to create the service class inside this shared folder here. So shared then forward slash, we have to create a dialog service class. So we just need to type dialog here, hit enter. Newly created service class can be seen here, dialog service. I will delete this uh, spec.t as well, which is for test purpose, we don't need that. In order to create the new confirmed dialog, we are going to use pop-up dialog component from Angular Material. So in order to work with that, we have to import the module, which we have discussed in previous tutorial. So here it is. We have to import this module, mat dialog module. Now back to this uh, new service here, dialog service. Inside this service class, we will open the new customized confirm dialog. So first of all, I will import the required class mat dialog from Angular material. Then I will inject the class inside this constructor here, dialog, which is of the type mat dialog. Then we will define a new function open confirm dialog without any parameter. Inside that we can do this this dot dialog dot open inside this dialog pop-up we have to open new component which is mat confirm dialog so we just need to pass the mat confirm dialog class here as a second parameter to this function we will pass an object here in order to configure the pop-up dialog first of all we will set the width to 390 pixel and finally, we will disable the close feature by clicking outside the window or by pressing escape on your keyboard. Now we have to call this open confirm dialog function from this delete button click event. So we have to inject this dialog service inside the corresponding component. So here it is employee list component. Now let's inject that dialog service here. So here we have injected as dialog service. Now we have to add the corresponding import statement. So hold control then press PD then select the appropriate import statement. Now we have to modify the delete button click event which is here on delete function. For now I will just comment these lines here. Then we can do this this dot dialog service dot open confirm dialog function can be called 
Finally, we have to do one more thing. In order to open a component in pop-up dialog like this, we have to add the component class inside the app module.ts file. So let me copy this class name from here, then open app module.ts. Then we have to add that inside this entry components array here. Let me save all of these modifications here. Then back to the application. Now click on delete button here. So here we have the new pop-up dialog inside that we have shown the HTML from mat confirm dialog HTML. So back to the project, then open corresponding component HTML, which is mat confirm dialog component.html. Instead of this default text here, I will add a div inside that we will add another div with this custom class content container. First of all, I will add the close button for this confirm dialog box. For that, we have a mat icon with id close icon. After that, we have the content for this confirm dialog. That can be shown inside this span here with custom classes, content span and full width. Now, we have to have two buttons. In this case, question will be something like this. Are you sure to delete this record or not? In order to answer the question, we have two options, yes or no. So let's add the icons here. We have the no button with id no button and we have the yes button with id yes button. Now we have to define CSS rules for these custom classes here. Before that, I want to add one custom class particular to this confirm dialog here panel class is equal to confirm dialog container so this class will be added to the outside container of the confirm dialog it will allow us to customize the pop-up dialog as per our choice so let's add css rules for these classes open styles.css so here it is so here we have defined css rules for new custom classes let me save all of these modifications here. Now back to the application. Now click on this delete icon here. So here we have the new confirm dialog. We have to show a message inside this confirm dialog. It will be here. Are you sure to delete this record or not? Let me copy this and pasting inside this content span. Save then back to the application. Click on delete. So here it is. Are you sure to delete this record or not? Instead of hard coding this content inside this span here, I want to pass that from this employee list component here. For that, I will copy this content question and pass through the function parameter here, open confirm dialog. Now we have to update this function, open confirm dialog. I will add a new parameter, msg, now we have to pass this parameter msg into this mat confirm dialog that we can do with this property here data inside that we have another object containing single property message is equal to msg so here we have passed data property containing message of the dialog in order to receive this data inside this component mat confirm dialog component we have to do few things here so data passed to this component through dialog will be of the type mat dialog data so we have to import the corresponding clause here so here it is mat dialog data from angular material now we have to inject this data into this component so we have to import this inject class also now we just need to do this add inject for this class mat dialog data and we have the property data inside this data object we have the message that we have passed from this dialog service so now we have to show that message inside this component html here so i will do that with string interpolation data dot message let me save all of these modifications here then back to the application click on delete button so here it is 
now i will add the click event for this close icon here so back to the component html match confirm dialog component html when we click on this close icon here we will call the function close dialog now we have to define this function inside the typescript file here on close dialog in order to close this pop-up here we have to have the reference for this pop-up dialog for that we have to import the corresponding class here which we have done in previous tutorial mad dialog rough now we have to inject a property of this type here mad dialog rough for this component mad confirm dialog component now we just need to do this this dot dialog uh, rough dot close function can be called okay now let me save all of these modifications here then back to the application click on delete icon then close this window now what about these two buttons no and yes for both of these buttons here when we click on them we have to close the window for that we can add this directive here match dialog close same for this yes button also now we developers must know whether user selected yes or no for that purpose along with this directive here from this no button i will return false and from this yes button i will return true when we click on this close button here we will close this window along with that we will return false it would be same as that of this node button here so in order to return false from close button we have to do this inside this close function we can return false now how can we receive these boolean values true or false from this employee list component we have opened this confirm dialog from dialog service so as a result of this open function here it will return a mad dialog rough so we have to return that object and we can receive that inside this employee list component here so as a result of this function we will get a mad dialog rough then we will call this function after close function can be called so this function after closed will return an observer so we can subscribe to that observable here subscribe inside that we have an arrow function with single parameter response so whenever user responds to this confirm dialog here it will invoke this callback function inside this subscribe here in order to see the response inside this callback function i will log this response let me save all of these functions here then back to the application now let me open the console here now let's try this delete button here i will close this window so here we have the response false now let's try this s yes button so here we have the response true now we have the no button so here we have the response as false so we have to delete this record when user click on this yes button here so in that case response will be true so here we can do this we will have an if close if response is true we will do the delete operation first of all we will delete the employee then after that we will show the notification like we have done in previous tutorial now let me delete these codes here save then back to the application i want to delete this employee gavin click on yes so here we have successfully deleted the employee now i want to position this confirm dialog in top of the page for that we can do this we will use the property position and we will set the top as 10 pixel so this dialog will be aligned with a gap of 10 pixel from top let me save this back to the application so here we have the confirm dialog with right position that's it guys here we have created a beautiful confirm dialog in angular material using pop-up dialog you can download this project source code from the link given below in video description 
all of the video links from this series is given in video description if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video for awesome videos like this please be subscribed to code of action please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye